Watch that wears beanies. You thought it was over. <laughs> but it's just the beginning. Prepare your reign. <laughs> Buckle up. Psych. Thank you, Psych. Hello <laughs> again, YouTubes. This is BD Bob. <laughs> and I regret to say, welcome to Sakura Beach 2. I don't know why it doesn't say 2 on the menu, but I assure you, this is Sakura Beach 2. <laughs> so this is yet another dating simulator. Um, in terms of badness, I think it would lie somewhere in between Gogo -go Nippon and Nekopara. Cause yeah, Nekopara's real bad, but at least this doesn't have to deal with children. <laughs> As far as I know. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's begin. Once again, thank you, Psych. Everyone, everyone give Psych a round of applause. <laughs> oh, just straight into it then. Okay. It's hard to believe we're back here again. Time passes by without much fanfare, it seems. It's been a few months since we last came to the beach. I've never played the first one, by the way. Just a little up. <laughs> Life since then, well... It's been interesting, reflecting on how I was. I was acting like an angsty child. Oh, screw you, Dad! Caring too much about the past like that was pointless. Life is too short to waste on things like that. I stopped pushing them away, too. I passed exams with flying colors, thanks to both of them helping me. My relationship with Ayumi and Momoko. Since everyone at school found out, my life has been chaos. The sheer amount of jealousy directed at me, but hold on a second. This is a lot of exposition right off the bat. Could you just introduce me? Just ease me in, okay? It's enough that we're- it's a Sakura game, okay? That's enough to deal with. Now yeah, now you're telling me that we're in a, a love triangle or like a, a uh, non-monogamous relationship? Is that what it would be called? Gosh. The sheer amount of jealousy directed at me by the other guys. And the whispers of the girls around me sing, too. I mean, sting. On top of that, they've both been trying harder and harder to win my affection. Their love is strong. Strong to the point of being fatal if you get caught between both of them. The disciplinary committee tried to break up with my vulgar harem, as they put it, and they failed spectacularly. <laughs> when those two girls want something, there's no one on earth who can stop them from getting it. I think the committee nearly disbanded on that day. What's going on? Can you just, can we, can you just slow it down a bit? Just, just a little bit, please. <laughs> so, after several months of this, another escape to the beach is just what I needed. But it's gonna be a bit more complicated than I thought it would be. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I'm assuming Momoko and um, the other one. Yeah, the, here's Momoko in the pink. It's good to be back! We even got the same room! Ayumi, that was her name. Gosh, what should I give Ayumi's voice? <coughs> Could we have booked another room? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, she's a smoker and there's nothing you can do about it. <coughs> there's dozens of other hotels around here. <coughs> What's wrong with this room? <coughs> there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that it's good to try new th <coughs> Good to try new things sometimes. Oh god, this is gonna kill me. I'm getting light at it. <laughs> Don't be so grumpy, Ayumi. I like this room. We're going to settle right back in. <coughs> I guess that would be okay. <coughs> Familiar places are comfortable places. <coughs> but we better not have any repeats of <coughs> what happened last time. <laughs> this was a terrible idea. Oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Do not before you enter our room, Seiji. Who's Seiji? Someone entered the room? Oh, I guess Seiji is our name, okay. Deliver agonizing punishment on me. I know. Trust me, I won't be doing anything so inconsiderable this time. I mean, inconsiderate. That, that inconsiderable I don't think is a word. <laughs> How could I treat the two cute girls so terribly? <laughs> okay, slow it down a little bit. <laughs> she immediately loses her composure. You're so cute when you're embarrassed, Yumi. <laughs> She looks a little bit more than embarrassed to me. She looks kind of mortified. <laughs> <coughs> this idiot says such embarrassing things. I, I can't help it. He's changed a lot, hasn't he? Say she's nicer than ever before. That's what we both love about him. <laughs> Don't say things like that out loud. This is terrible. This is so bad. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with 
declaring your love, Ayumi. Don't be so shy. <coughs> That's it. <laughs> the sun and the moon. I'm trying to cut back on space metaphors, but I can't help but see it every time. Momoko is the sun, bright, burning, and full of life. Ayumi is the moon, quiet, unassuming, but beautiful in her own way. One has no problem with being in the spotlight. The other prefers to express itself in a modest way. Oh my god, what is this? This is so... <laughs> this is the... This is terrible! <laughs> so, in turn, Momoko can freely declare her love, while Ayumi struggles to express it. But, even so, I know they're both falling head over heels for the most handsome person in the world. Me. <laughs> well, their love is so powerful. I need to take the time to talk to both of them this trip. Just to make sure that they're fine with how things are at the moment. This is so bad. I feel uncomfortable. I feel uneasy. <laughs> I feel like a weeaboo. That's, I mean, like, th this game is taking itself so seriously right now. I mean, at least Gogo Nippon tries to hide itself as being, like, you know, a, a, a Japan tour, right? And, uh... I don't know what Nico Parr is trying to do, but I mean, it's not as outright just like, I love you as this is. It's just so awkward. <laughs> now then, enough about that. What are we going to do today, Seiji? Oh, a choice right off the bat. I'm loving this game already. Let's uh, go to the beach. It's the Sakura Beach, so why not? Well, <coughs> what else would we do while we're here? The beach it would be. Excellent idea, Momoko. It was my idea, you scrub. <laughs> but... Didn't I? With minor contributions from Seiji. Wow. What a, what a freaking, what a freaking two-faced double-timing traitor. What a jerk, you know? It, like, this is past backhanded compliments. This is just straight up to my face, right? She acts all like, ah, ha, ha, I'm so cute and innocent, but she's malicious in reality. She hates our guts because she... I don't know why she hates our guts. Does she want uh, uh, the other girl, the orange one for herself, the smoker? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. It was more than a minor contribution, Maboko, you scrub. What are you talking about, Tayumi? What's that? <laughs> you got a hot pillow with a print of si <laughs> Don't! <laughs> oh my god. She's using blackmail. Holy cow, Momoko's malicious. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare say anything about that! You are a vile vi <laughs> villain! So Ayumi agrees that Momoko's idea was the best idea. Freaking egomaniac sociopath! I don't like this Momoko girl! <laughs> I can only shake my head and laugh. If I were to portray how I truly felt at this moment, uncomfortable and a little upset, it would only make the situation worse. Momoko always gets like this. <laughs> you work with a, a very twisted sense of logic, Momoko. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I'm figuring out what's going on here. <laughs> okay, so Ayumi and I were friends. We were like real good friends. Like we hung out every single day and all of a sudden here comes Momoko, right? So she, Momoko gets a crush on Ayumi, right? Um, and so she starts hating my guts. And so she develops this weird, twisted, complicated plan to get a Yumi and I to date, but also for Momoko, Yumi, and I to date, just so she can have both of us wrung by the necks by our control. You know? This is freaking. This is bonkers. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Seiji. You better shut up, I'll slip you with you. Uh, anyway. Are we going or not? Also, uh, Ayumi isn't actually a smoker. She got her cough from attempted cyanide poisoning from Momoko. <laughs> we should go right now! The day's passing by quickly! Okay, don't tell Momoko about this. <laughs> but at the first break, at the first chance, we're gonna break, we're gonna sprint. So just please, don't tell Mabuka about this. We have to get out of here. We have to escape. <coughs> oh my god, all this coughing is legit making me lightheaded. <laughs> Ayumi is out the door before I can catch her. Yeah, because she wants to run away. Momoko, you should really stop teasing her like that. You know, she'll get a revenge. I said jokingly. But I meant it full-heartedly. <laughs> Aww, 
But it's so much fun! <laughs> We're finally back at the beach. Momoko is delighted to be here. Ayumi seems pretty happy about it too. No, she's happy about the uh, aspect of escape. You know, hope from getting away from this freaking psychopath. I've missed the beach so much. Golden sand, sunshine, salt water. It's so good to be back. I don't know why she got an accent all of a sudden. <laughs> Feels like so long ago since we were last here. <laughs> and I can swim now, so it should be a lot more fun. Yeah, she's gonna try swimming to the next island over. <laughs> Presuming that nothing happens. <laughs> Again? Ah, uh, come on. Can you stop accusing me of being a pervert? What happened? What happened? Okay, Seiji, you know, I was on your side up until now. Please tell me what happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's not accusation if it's true. What do we do? I bet you've been dying to see us in a compromising position for a loco guy. Okay, okay, slow it down. Just take it easy. We're gonna take this one word, one step at a time. Baby steps, we're gonna figure out what happened. I'm gonna apologize, everything's gonna be okay, because I'm sure this is all just a big misunderstanding. <laughs> no, really. That happens enough at school. Like that time you were wearing a skirt and you swore to never bring that up again! Okay, I'm starting to think Seiji is a bit of a jerk. <laughs> Pervert maniac! <laughs> I can't say that. There's people here. <laughs> what the heck did we do? <laughs> oh my god, I think I think Seiji is kind of just as much of a psychopath as Momoko is, and freaking poor Ayumi's just here terrified and freaking just in utter torment and like shock all the time, you know? <laughs> poor just run to Yumi, just go. Momoko and I are good for each other. We're both Freaking psychopathic jerks. I'm basically a, a freaking rapist at this point. What? I've never done that my entire life. I've never done that my entire life. Okay, I think you may have put that in twice again. I'm just saying. I'm not a pervert. <laughs> Remember how passionate you were when I dragged you into my room? And that was all you. You know that I'm not ready for stuff like that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call it here. <laughs> this is getting way too weird for me. All right, this is this is already weird as heck. But right now, I can't handle this. I can't. I'm done. <laughs>